Hi guys, Miss Francis here. Today we're going to quickly discuss genomes and their importance to DNA technology. So as early as 1980, Daniel Botstein and his colleagues proposed the idea that DNA variations, which are reflected in RIFLIPS, could serve as the basis for a detailed map of the entire human genome, where the entire sequence of nucleotides in DNA could be discovered. So the Human Genome Project is the project that attempts to do that with the human genome. And it began in 1990, and it involved the cooperation of scientists all over the world. And what came from the human genome was a map of the entire human genome, which was ultimately determined um, ultimately by determining the complete nucleotide sequence of each human chromosome. And what was discovered about the number of genes was a little bit humbling. We discovered, or scientists discovered, that humans actually only contain a little bit more than 20,000 genes, which is quite surprising considering it's only about two to three times the number of genes in a fruit fly. Meanwhile, a fruit fly only has eight chromosomes. Humans have 46 chromosomes. So that's so that's pretty amazing when you think about it. Um, scientists also discovered that humans have enormous amounts of non-coding DNA, which includes repetitive DNA and unusually long introns. Remember, those introns eventually get spliced out, but these introns are non-coding regions, so ultimately they don't code for a protein. Um, there was also evidence that um, led to or by comparisons of genome sequences, it confirmed very strongly the evolutionary connections between even distantly related organisms. So the evidence provided by these um, comparisons of the genome sequences showed how genetically similar we all are. And this has applications because we can use these organisms for um, medicinal studies. For example, yeast, which are fungi, have a number of genes that are close enough to our versions of that gene that they can substitute for them in a human cell. Now, since all humans are descended from a single population of Africa, we share a lot of um, in common with regard to our DNA sequences. Now, the diversity comes in the form of what's called a SNP, a single nucleotide polymorphism, which is a single base pair variation. And this is what makes each person unique. Um, these SNPs occur about once in 1,000 bases. So that means that any two humans are 99.9% .9 identical. And it's these locations of these SNP sites that can be used as markers, um, markers for studying human, human evolution, um, markers for identifying disease genes, markers for identifying genes that influence our susceptibility to diseases, our um, susceptibility or vulnerability to toxins or to drugs. So this human genome project really provided some insight regarding our um, genes. Next video, we're going to talk about how DNA technology is applicable in a wide variety of arenas.